Hello, see you again with Brain Factor Channel. This time we will discuss about the reasons behind why Soviet astronauts carried guns into space. Watch the video carefully and don't skip this video. And please help subscribe and like our channel. Thank you. The reasons behind why Soviet astronauts carried guns into space. For many years, the standard survival kit that was carried by Russian cosmonauts aboard the Soyuz spacecraft included a specially constructed gun and a few dozen rounds of ammunition. This was done in preparation for the possibility that the cosmonauts would have to make an emergency landing in the Siberian wilderness. They were the only nation that had ever been into space to equip their astronauts, which caused some people to raise their eyebrows. However, the Soviets did have their justifications. Re-entry and landing is a challenging operation because the re-entry vehicle is subjected to an incredible amount of forces as it slams into the Earth's atmosphere during the process of re-entry. Even the slightest misfiring of the engines might modify the trajectory, which could result in the cosmonauts landing hundreds of miles off track. This is because the re-entry velocity is approximately 25,000 km per hour. The majority of Russia is made up of uninhabited wilderness, from which it may take several days to get help. While the cosmonauts waited, they had to defend themselves against the bitter cold as well as bears and wolves who were hostile against them. In 1965, cosmonauts Pavel Belayev and Alexei Leonov were returning from a very successful Voskhod 2 mission when their spacecraft veered off course and landed in the forests of Siberia which was approximately 240 miles from the intended landing zone. This incident occurred while the spacecraft was trying to return to Earth after a successful mission. Both Leonov and Belayev were well aware that they would have to spend the night by themselves in the taiga, which was home to wild animals such as bears and wolves. The cosmonauts were each given a 9mm semi-automatic pistol for their own personal protection, nevertheless, Leonov was fully aware that the weapon would not be sufficient to fend off a bear weighing 500 pounds. Despite the fact that Leonov did not come across any bears during his journey, he was inspired by his experience to become a champion for the subject of a survival handgun created specifically for use by cosmonauts during future missions. This led to the creation of the TP-82, which is also referred to as the TOZ-82. The TP-82 was a triple-barreled shotgun that could fire in either 12-gauge or 20-gauge cartridges. The upper two barrels each had a smoothbore and were designed to fire a unique caliber of ammunition measuring 12.5mm by 70mm. The lower barrel was rifled, and it fired ammunition with a 545 by 39 mm caliber, which just so happened to be the same caliber as that fired by the AK-74 assault rifle. The shotgun stock could be removed and used as a machete, additionally, it came with a canvas sheath to protect the blade. In addition to buckshot, the TP-82 has the capability to send out flares as a call for assistance. Between the years 1986 and 2006, all Soviet and Russian spacecraft were required to have a TP-82 as part of their basic survival kit. This was the case regardless of mission duration. The weapon was also distributed to certain formations of the Soviet Air Force, most likely for use by air crews flying missions over extremely hostile locations. Even NASA astronauts participated in a training exercise with the TP-82 in the Black Sea, where they fired off rounds from a boat while using the weapon. According to astronaut Jim Voss, it was incredible how many bottles of wine, beer, and vodka the crew of the ship could provide for us to shoot at. It was unbelievable, he added. It was pretty spot on, he said as he proceeded. We attempted to throw the bottles as far as we could, which was probably between 20 and 30 meters, and then we shot them. It was a piece of cake to hit the bottles with the shotgun shells, and it was not too difficult to do it with the rifle bullets on the very first shot. Another one of NASA's astronauts, Dave Wolf, who served aboard the Mir space station for a total of four months during the years 1997 and 1998, referred to the weapon as a magnificent rifle. In addition, Wolf stated, I discovered that it was easy to operate, exceedingly accurate, and well-balanced. In 2007, it was stated that the remaining ammo for the TP-82 had been 
rendered useless, and the weapon itself was taken off the market. In its stead, a regular semi-automatic pistol was made available to the participant. However, prior to each flight, an official from the Russian Space Agency holds a vote to determine whether or not the crew should be permitted to carry firearms. The question of whether or not there should be weapons in space is a contentious one. According to James Ober, an American space journalist and historian, the presence of the pistol, especially in light of previous space team psychological issues, might constitute an invitation to a future disaster. Oberg suggests that in order to reduce potential dangers, the firearm be stored in a compartment that can only be accessed from the outside of the Soyuz spacecraft after it has landed. This would prevent anyone from utilizing the weapon while the spacecraft was in the air. The idea made by Ober was disregarded.